Watch out. Holy shit, watch my dogs. He's down. He's up and coming through the house. Holy shit. What is down now? There's fucking fire. Where'd he go? He fucking, he went, he ran around the back. Somebody in a flak vest that just pulled up in that blue truck with it flashing. Bulletproof vest. We're trying to get traffic clear to get up there, uh, which is where whatever is going on is going on. Uh, the call was active shooter. Now comes more of the highway patrol. Panama City Police Department crime scene van. Heading up there. Uh, it's very obviously, I've never seen anything uh, like this. and multiple years of crime coverage. I've never seen people show up in this manner at this speed with this kind of urgency uh, ever. And there, there must be three dozen emergency vehicles up there now, police cars, sheriff's office, Marine Patrol, uh, FHP, you name it, they're here. They're still coming. That's right, Chris and Kelsey. Right now, I'm at the intersection of Beck and 23rd Street, where there's an active shooter situation that is ongoing. Now, we don't have a lot of information and right now. At that now. point, I noticed what sounded like an exchange of gunfire. There were shots from multiple weapons, it, probably 20 or 30 shots, and then it sort of slowed down a while, and then the shots picked up. I would say over the course of maybe five minutes, I heard 30 or 40 shots back and forth. Now, it's been a while since I've heard any shots, but. As you can see, there's still activity here. Uh, at one point, we actually heard a shot fly overhead. You could hear the little zinging sound. So I hid until the shot stopped at that point, and my heart's still pounding. So that's as much as I know. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe what you saw visually? Uh, just visually, I've seen multiple law enforcement agencies come in, put their vest on, uh, grab weapons, uh, running toward the woods there. Uh, even now, you can see law enforcement hidden behind their cars. Uh, also, SWAT has uh, driven around the perimeter a time or two with the SWAT guys uh, sort of hanging off the back of their truck. So it does still appear to be active. But like I said, there haven't been any shots in a while, but there was easily probably over the course of all the shooting. There are shots now, shots fired now. I'm gonna go, go. <laughs> all right, well, as you, as you all can hear right now, there are shots going off. We don't have a lot of information right now, but we'll be sure to bring you more information as we learn more. Let's just stay here for a second and uh, we can watch what's taking place here. And you just heard what sounded like gunfire uh, out uh, at the intersection of 23rd and Beck Avenue, an active shooter situation. Please stay away from that area. Uh, like we just said, we just heard a couple seconds ago some gunfire. Uh, sounds like police exchange gunfire with at least one suspect. Yeah, you can see a lot of police presence in this area. Our reporter is right by the Winn Dixie there on 23rd Street in Panama City. We heard from uh, from a bystander just a moment ago that said he had heard 30 to 40 shots earlier already. And, and he had one zinged over his head. So a lot of the, there's a lot of people driving by. So please don't go down there uh, if they're if they can hear the gunshots. There's a, a chance that there could be some bullets still flinging out in that direction like that one gentleman said rick who was standing there uh kind of taking cover and uh, he heard one a bullet zing over his head and that was after he'd heard 30 or 40 shots right needless to say a very very dangerous situation that is ongoing developing right here in panama city you're taking a live look again at 23rd street in beck avenue in panama city again we have an, an active shooter situation uh, right down it looks like 
That's there near the entrance of the Briarwood Apartments, uh, which is off of Beck Avenue between the entrance to Winn Dixie and the uh, train tracks. Uh, that's so it's just south of the Winn Dixie entrance on Beck Avenue. They've got Beck Avenue closed at 15th Street and Beck Avenue, as well as 23rd Street, 19th Street. If you're trying to get Beck Avenue, that's all closed off. Avoid the area at, 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 if possible. It's uh, a very bad situation going on down, down here in Panama City. And uh, like we just heard, probably what it was it, 10 to 12 shots? It yeah, like just at here least. during our live broadcast, and uh, that's where you saw our. our our reporter and, and our interview just kind of take cover a little bit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, bit there. We also have uh, Megan there. You just saw her. She is standing there live. We also have multiple reporters uh, just out and about That's as right, well. That's right, Chris and Kelsey. Once again, I am on the scene right here at the intersection of Beck and 23rd Street. And as you can see, there are multiple law enforcement officers right here on the scene right now. Now we don't have a lot of information, but as we learn more, we will continue to update you. I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way so you guys can get a closer look at all of these law enforcement officers. There's Lynn Haven Police, Panama City Police, the Bay County Sheriff turned down the side roads to get away, and then you just started hearing all these gunshots, and you don't know who it is that's shooting, and you're in a neighborhood and you don't know where the shooter is and so you sound you know you sound shaken up what's going through your mind what um and if we had been a couple minutes later that that might have been us i don't know I, I i don't know if it's one person i don't know how many people are down there all i know is that once we stopped we realized what was happening and we cared to continue it wasn't one gunshot it was pop 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 and it stopped for a second then all of a sudden it'd be pop 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 again and it was just I've never been that close to gunshot before. I don't know how people in the war do it because it's absolutely petrifying and I wasn't even affected. I wasn't hurt. I'm I'm here, I'm in one piece, I'm fine. Here um, for an active shooter situation. If you look to my right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit where law enforcement is standing down behind these vehicles. And okay. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear that. Several several shots are being fired as we speak. Several gunshots were just fired during this video. I'm not sure if you could have, if you heard them on here, but several shots were just fired. And witnesses tell me more than 50 were heard earlier before I had arrived. In Walton County say the suspect involved in today's active shooter situation at an apartment complex in Panama City is confirmed dead. That suspect, the same person, wanted a connection to a death investigation in nearby Walton County. Bob Sue, we're at 23rd and Beck, and this is a scene that we haven't been able to see in the past broadcast, and that's because it's been a uh, crime scene taped off. So I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way, but what you're seeing is a still very active scene near this apartment complex. And what we learned was that Kevin Holroyd, the suspect, actually doused his apartment in gasoline and was attempting to light it on fire when he died. So deputies and other law enforcement officers are going to have to use extreme caution as they continue to investigate this scene. And we're told that's going to take a couple of hours. Now, let's go back to the very beginning about all how all this happened. Sheriff Tommy Ford with Bay County says that today is a miracle that the people, the law enforcement who are working this and the air and the people who are living in this area very lucky that nobody was seriously injured. He says that this is every law enforcement officer's worst nightmare. You have a person who was shooting out of a second story apartment, an elevated threat, if you will. Sheriff Ford says that two officers from Panama City PD, as well as a deputy from Bay County Sheriff's Office were actually pinned in their vehicles, being shot out by this suspect. So they had to use armored vehicle to rescue those officers. Both Bay County and Panama City PD SWAT teams came in to assist. And then Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office.